The team that saved a construction worker who was dangling from the side of a seven story condominium in downtown Sarasota is now offering new details into that dramatic rescue. It happened over the weekend when a cable holding up the scaffolding snapped. One worker was stranded for about an hour. ABC 7's Bo Beth Yates caught up with the Sarasota County firefighters involved in that rescue. It's a harness like this one, along with a lot of training that crews from the Sarasota Fire Department says that they used to help get everyone home safely. So this is the bag that we took up on the roof with us. They carried all the equipment that we needed. Sarasota fire officials from Station 1 and 8 recount the heroic actions from their view condominium rescue. I was actually the rescuer who went over the edge and was lowered down to the patient. Paul Zoller, a Sarasota firefighter and special operations team member, can be seen here climbing down the side of the 17-story building. His goal, to rescue the construction worker hanging 170 feet in the air. He was backed up, had his hands on a couple of the other cables and uh, had his feet kind of braced on the sides. Um, station one, who was there first, was able to lower down a safety line to him, and he was able to clip into that. It's believed that a scaffolding failure caused the incident, and initially there were two people hanging on for dear life. They were uh, doing some construction work on a scaffolding. On that scaffolding, uh, one of the lines either snapped or came apart somehow, and when that happened, those two personnel were trapped on the scaffolding. Prior to our arrival, one of the victims was raised by other construction personnel. The second victim was trapped for almost an hour as crews put all the safety harnesses required for the rescue in place. The men behind that process told ABC7 there was a lot to do. Uh, we have a playbook for everything that we need to do. Um, obviously, have a heightened sense of awareness, and uh, we know exactly what we need to do. So it's just going through those steps one at a time. And if all from that height, um, you know, there wouldn't be any survival. So uh, we're, we're all just thankful that you know the rescue went well, that he's okay. Sarasota fire officials say they went through hundreds of hours to be prepared for a situation like this, and they stress that this wasn't just one person, but a group effort. Bo Bathy 8, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.